Well, folks, you know, I just had Sister Candace down in Texas send me um, a link to Zero Hedge. And I'm going to read it here for you to let you know of the trouble that we are seriously in. In case you haven't noted, you know, the price of commodities has seriously skyrocketed since 2008 uh, when the collapse took place, a uh, market collapse. And watch this. Listen to me very closely. Listen to me very closely. And commodities like gas, food. Uh, all, all this just literally, it's gone through the roof. It's done almost, it's double for sure, getting ready to triple. Well, anyway, Fed holds and will do open-end MBS buying extends operation twist. Zero hedge, Ben Bernanke. Check it out. Ben, Shalom, Bernanke has acquiesced and is now the fourth branch of the top status quo in all is well in the world. Bullet points. Fed to keep policy stimulative for a considerable time. In other words, as long as it takes, they're going to print money into oblivion. You're going to watch your prices soar. Watch the markets respond behind this, this, this note right They probably already respond. Fed will add to purchases if labor market doesn't improve and labor market is not going to improve. Fed does not say when MBS purchase program to end. It's inevitable. You see, when Weimar Republic of Germany um, finally crashed and had all that worthless money that they were sweeping on the streets in 1923, most of us here in America, you know, then couldn't even connect the dots then, and we can't connect the dots now. See, these these systems in the world, these governments, they are intertwined. And it's amazing how currency way across the pond over there could have effect on us and then usher in the Great Depression over here. Well, I'm trying to tell you people, you listen to me, I'm not trying to be pessimistic. I'm actually being very optimistic to tell you the truth. I really, really, truly am. You need to listen to wise counsel because your pastors are not preparing you and telling you of this inevitable uh, economic collapse where there's going to be seriously a lot of serious social unrest. Um, you're going to watch moral decay. Uh, you're going to watch um, men degenerate into an animalistic nature here coming up. And it's going to be every man for himself. Oh, I don't believe that gloom and doom stuff. No, 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 no. It's already happening in our countries right now. You just are not hearing it because the news media don't want to report on it because they're not telling you. Now, I'm not talking about to the point to where we're dealing with the, like Eli, the movie Eli or nothing like that. But I'm talking about a serious turn and change of events and lifestyle in this country like you've never seen before. And you know what? We ain't ready. Um, Fed to buy 40 billion MBS monthly continue operation twist. Fed to buy MBS extend uh, zero rate policy to 2015. That means all you people out there who are trying to so-called save money and invest it, all you're going to do is lose your rear end. That's all you're going to do. You better get into precious metals. That's what I do. My advice. You better get into precious metals because they have ensured that anybody who had any store wealth whatsoever at all, you can't live off the interest. You're not going to live off the interest. Stocks, bonds, mutual funds, 401ks, IRA, CDs, they're all dust in the wind because they're all paper. It is a sad, sad account. And I, I mean, what else? I don't see anything else up here right now to report on. But hey, we told you it was going to happen. I, I, I told you they already was doing it under the table anyway. Uh, doesn't surprise me one bit at all. I hope, I really truly do hope um, that, that people get the eyes to see and the ears to hear. All right. CNN Money. Federal Reserve launches QE3. That's quantitative easing three. And... Uh, the announcement, it says, look at this. The Federal Reserve announced plans to unleash more stimulus Thursday. And guess what? They call it stimulus, but it ain't stimulated a damn thing. <laughs> ain't stimulated. It's stimulated the pockets of the rich because it's austerity measures for us, the people that are middle class and lower. They keep getting richer. They keep uh, getting growth. They keep uh, having their pockets lined. The banks get more richer. And they settle the bill to us. When you people going to start waking up and start taking control and start preserving your life? You need to come out of these Christian churches who are not teaching you how to prepare. And you need to come out of any of these Sabbath churches that's not teaching you how to prepare. Because I'm telling you, most of you people, you're not students of history. And you don't know history. And you're repeating the same mistakes of the past. And I'm telling you right now, 
There's going to be catastrophic events taking place in this country because I don't trust in the benevolence of humanity. I, I really truly don't. And I definitely don't trust um, in, in the so-called nature of man. I, that's why I surround myself by people who I love and who I can trust. I can't trust every man. I cannot trust. And neither can you afford to do it either. But look what it says right here. Huh? Uh, Thursday, an attempt to the controversial program to rev up the U.S. economy. Ain't no revving up this U.S. economy. It's done for. Uh, the policy known as quantitative easing, or basically printing money to oblivion, uh, often abbreviated QE3, entails buying $40 billion in mortgage-backed securities each month. $40 billion? Woo! I, those, those numbers are extraordinary. You know, $100 million is a billion. Do you understand that kind of money? Whoo! Ah! Uh, whoo! The end date remains up in the air as Fed will reevaluate the strength of the economy in the in the coming months. Yeah, hey, we already told you people that quantitative easing three was coming. They were just putting it off as long as possible. Well, well, I guess what? Um, the market's going to respond. We're going to watch J.P. Morgan and him come to come in and, and do a drive by again. Knock commodities back down for the last time, and then from there they're going to the moon. Well, it looks like silver. It's getting ready to not only touch that 50, but getting ready to go over it. It looks like it's going to happen. Um, and then it says the Fed is wasting no time. The purchase begin Friday and are expected to add up to only $23 billion for the remainder of September. The bond buying policy should uh, put down with pressure on long-term interest rates, support mortgage markets, and help to make broader financial conditions more uh, accommodative. It, 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 it's Fed's official statement. Say, man, I tell you, just more lies, more lies on top of more lies on top of more lies on top of more lies. You, you think that people, when you get sick and tired of lying, you think that it would literally make you sick, but these people lie to you with a smile on their face. And you people sit there and look, see, that's what they said. See, I trust them. See, that's what they said. Then somebody like me get on here, an ugly man, get on here telling you what it is. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. He always so negative. I hate him. Galatians 4.16 did say, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? You know what? In other words, we rather go into the door of the acceptable lie than to go and walk through the door of the inconvenient truth. At least one thing about truth, it does set free because what it does is it gives you opportunity, your mind, the ability to think and go places where it wouldn't respond or wouldn't go to before as long as you stay believing a lot. Oh, boy, I tell you what, man, it, 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 this, this report is kind of long. I wish I had time to go and read this. But anyway, go over there. CNN money. I'm getting ready to go eat. I'm getting ready to go eat. This is off the chain. I told you it was going to happen. I told you it was going to happen. Go back to my videos. Go back in there. Pastor Dow told you it was coming, and guess what? I'm going to make another prediction. QE4 is coming too.